I've shot a lot of 22 long rifle in my life, and I'm no 22 plinkster or anything like that, but I've done my fair share. But what I haven't shot is suppressed subsonic 22 long rifle. So that's what we're going to do today. I've got some standard, uh, I believe, Remington 42 grain hollow point supersonics, and then we have some Winchester subsonics. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put those through a TX-22 pistol, a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 pistol, and a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 rifle, all suppressed, and just kind of see the sound differences and have some fun. So today is all about... Oops, <laughs> wrong gun. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Now that I have the right guns, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're doing. Taurus TX-22 will be the shortest barrel that we're shooting out of. M&P 1522 pistol. M&P 1522 rifle. And all of those will be going through our Silencer Co. Sparrow. What we'll do is the first round will be a standard supersonic, second round will be subsonic, and third round will be subsonic onto the steel, which we've got down at about 15 yards, just to hear the difference. So let's go ahead, we'll get the TX-22 loaded up, take the first subsonic shots. And again, I've never shot these. I don't even know if they're gonna cycle. Hopefully they will cycle, but we're gonna check it out. Got the Sparrow on the TX-22, and we've got the first round is a supersonic, and then the two rounds after that are gonna be subsonic. The first two will go in the dirt, and then the third one will go on the steel target. If I can hit it, we'll see. So that's already really quiet, so I'm Really curious what the subs are going to sound like. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so quiet. It's just like, I, I feel like I heard the action and the thump in the dirt more than the actual shot. All right. Let's go on the steel. That is so quiet. So I'm really interested to see what's going to happen when they go through the longer barrels because they're going to be going a little bit faster. They might be a little louder. I don't know. Let's check it out. Smith & Wesson MP1522 pistol. Again, first round is supersonic, and then the next two are subsonics. Two in the dirt, one on the steel. That's noticeably louder than the pistol supersonic. There wasn't much of a difference on my end anyways with the first sub in this and the first sub in the TX-22. Let's go to the steel. Yeah, God, that's so quiet. Interesting. All right, so we'll go to the rifle with the 16 inch barrel. Let's see how that goes. Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 rifle, 16 inch barrel. Same deal. Supersonic first, two subsonic second. What I'm really curious about is to how this plays out on your end. So if you're watching this, if you could do me a huge favor and just leave a comment and say, hey, I didn't hear anything, you're an idiot. Or, you know, yeah, the pistol was definitely quieter than the rifle, but couldn't hear any difference between the M&P 1522 pistol. Let me know how you hear it. I'm, I'm really curious about it. All right, let's go. Two in the dirt, one on the steel. 
that definitely had more of a crack to it, but not ears aren't ringing. It was totally hearing safe. Subsonic. I feel like I heard the action more than anything. So that's cool. All right. One on the steel. That was the steel was louder, but that's all I really heard was the steel. So that extra speed from the longer barrel on the steel definitely made it louder. But the question is, what does it sound like if you're on that end of it? Back with the 1522 pistol, I've got the magazine about half loaded. I'm just going to put all of these down on the steel target real quick. I want to see if it runs and just kind of give you guys some nice sounds of suppression. So it didn't lock back, but other than that, that's the only issue. These ran through it great. Let's load up the TX-22 and see how that sounds. Got the TX-22 fully loaded, all suppressed with the Sparrow on it. Let's just put them all on the steel. So that was my fault, I rode the slide. That was a primer strike, that was ammo. Need another one. That was a failure to feed. This is dirty as hell. I haven't cleaned it. I do why. Last round lockback. Dude, this is fun. 22 subsonic suppressed is a good time. Last thing I'm going to do real quick is I put the uh, forward comp back on this. And I'm just going to run these subsonics unsuppressed, but through the forward comp and just kind of see the difference. That's definitely a difference. Even though they're subs and with the, the forward comp on there, it almost kind of started in the ear just a little bit, but it, it felt more like it was after it hit the steel. Yeah, see, that one wasn't so bad. So it was mostly the sound from it hitting the steel. Twenty-two subsonic. If you don't have it, get it. It's good stuff. So if anybody wants to know, this Winchester was forty subsonic 42 max, 42 grain, 1,065 feet per second. Hollow points, and they're a good time. Uh, I got... I bought 200 rounds, I only used 50, so the rest I'm going to have some fun with. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.